Today I want to talk about global tags. And to understand global tags, it's important to realize that all of the course content found on this page is broken down into five different categories. There's one database in Notion for topics, areas, and references. So these are three different types of content, but found in the same database. We have projects, which is another type of content that has its own database and tasks. Tasks is a third database that I'm using. So the global tags can be found in this from the main page by clicking this link here. This is one way that you can find content beyond just the search feature here at the top right hand corner of your screen. So the global tags, you'll see there are tags and sub uh, tags or categories. And uh, you can go and simply select any of these tags to, to find different information related to those tags. So for example, planning, there it currently has uh, several different pages under tasks. There's a few links to projects. So this tag is linked to this, these, this different content. If you were to select on any of these, then this will give you the, the page that has that tag. So there's one for academic writing, this is a lesson, and so on. So this is one way that you can access the different types of content that are linked to those different tags. So all of the tags, some will have more content than others, as this is a continual process of populating and creating more content. Uh, this is a way for me to see in what areas I can add more to the page, but also if you find a particular topic or subtopic that you would like to see or have more information on, uh, you can also reach out to me as well. But this is a way that you can access different course content. For example, lessons, you can see here currently there are quite a few lessons here under tasks. And uh, again, just another way to access different information to search or, or when you're looking for information on this website to use the global tags feature.